had against us. I want to tell you somebody, it's time to invade the city with the Holy Ghost power. My God, it's time for us to invade the city. Es tiempo de invadir la ciudad. Come on, let's turn the world upside down. Vamos a darle vuelta al mundo. Vamos a trastornar al mundo. I want you to uh, I, 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 give me a few minutes. See, the snake I, 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 back years, I thought, well, it, it had to do with the devil, the snake, the devil, the serpent, the old serpent. Antes años atrás decía, bueno, tenía que ver con la serpiente antigua. Pero hoy en la mañana, el Señor me dio una revelación. Las culebras simbolizaban el poder y la vida para los egipcios. See, to the Egyptians, the snake symbolized power and life to the Egyptians and, and Egyptians, sorry. And one of the things is that they were going against system, world system. E iban a contradecir el sistema del mundo. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos sabían, los egipcios se ubicaban. Por eso que cuando usted ve una imagen de los egipcios, siempre tiene que ver una culebra. Entonces lo que Dios le estaba diciendo a Moisés Mira vas a tener que ir tras esto Ellos tendrán poder Pero no es el poder como el que tengo yo Ellos sí tienen vida Pero no es vida como la que yo tengo Yo tengo vida en abundancia Lo que Dios le estaba declarando a Moisés es que iba a poder sobrellevar los poderes de Egipto. Vea, yeah. God was declaring to Moses that he was going to be able to overcome the power of Egypt. In other words, God was telling Moses, you're running away right now, but you're not always going to be running. Ahorita a lo mejor estás corriendo, pero no siempre vas a correr. Entonces cuando dice el versículo 4, le dice a Dios a Moisés, mira, por un tiempo corres, pero llegará el momento donde vas a entender verdaderamente el propósito, verdadero el llamado que has entendido. Y le dice, entonces Jehová le dice a Moisés, extiende tu mano y tómala por la cola. Tómala por la cola. Y él extendió su mano y la tomó y se volvió qué? ¿Qué? Dice, take it. Pero vea esto. Vea que dice la palabra de Dios. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué, por qué no lo toma por la cabeza? Las serpientes se debían tomar por la cabeza. The serpents, you were supposed to take them from the head, not from the tail. ¿Por qué? Porque la, según la historia, la culebra egipcia tenía un tipo de, 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 de antenas o, o picos en sus ojos. Dice que estas culebras hasta mataban los caballos al momento que el caballo pisara la culebra. Entonces Dios le dice, mira, no la tomes de la cabeza, tómala de la cola. Porque Dios muestra esto tremendo. No, no tengo mucho tiempo para entrar a esto. Pero sin embargo dice, mira, tómala de la cola, no de la cabeza. Porque yo quiero decirle a alguien a este momento y esta hora. Al momento de tomarla de la cola es decirle otra vez a Satanás. Mi lugar no es cola, mi lugar es cabeza. Taking it back and saying, you know what? My place is not the tail, but my place is the head. Vea, y la toma. Pero lo más tremendo aquí, que quiero terminar con esto. Cuando Moisés toma esto de nuevo, se volvió una vara. Dice la historia, the story says that it symbolizes power. And life for the Egyptians. So in other words. The only way we're going to be able to go against this system. 
is not a method, but the power and the authority. La forma que vamos a ir no nomás con porque representaba la vida y representaba el poder, pero la única forma que íbamos a poder ir contra el sistema de Egipto no era por un método, sino por el poder del Espíritu Santo, la autoridad. Muchos de nosotros estamos así en la iglesia. Pues que tienes, pues el poder del Espíritu Santo. But we don't do anything with them. I want you to stand real quick. I want you to stand. God is telling you, what do you have in your hand? You might have opposition. Tendrás oposición. You might go back to your church and you, you're all excited and power up. And you might have all these obstacles. Especially when you go back to a religious place where everybody says, well, I'll give you a few months and you'll go back to the same person you were. Yo sé que muchos de nosotros vamos a tener obstáculos y con la gente religiosa, ¿por qué va a decir, eh, te doy, mire, te doy, te doy, te doy unos meses y vas a volver a como estabas? Mire, a mí me lo dijeron pastores de experiencia, supongamos. Me dice, mira, te damos un año, vas a fracasar. Gracias a Dios tengo seis años y no pienso fracasar. ¿Sabe lo que pasó? You know what happened? And this is powerful. Just don't say anything. No digas nada. Let them talk. And most of these pastors have resigned to pastorship, have lost members. People have even died. But I'm not worried about that. I don't have time to worry about that. No tengo tiempo para eso. Entonces dice, ¿qué es lo que tienes en tu mano? Dice, pues una vara. No, no, you don't just have that. You have a power. You have authority. You have more than you believe. There was a time where Johnny and Bobby were fighting, and Johnny was beating on Bobby, and Johnny was beating him. He started knocking him, and he fell on the floor, and he started kicking him. And, and Johnny kind of thought, Man, I, I beat him. And he was, Johnny was saying, Yeah, he's on the floor, he won't get up anymore. But what he didn't know when Johnny, when Johnny was walking away, that Bobby kind of looked over and he saw a two by four. He says, You know what? I don't have anything, uh, but I have a two by four. You know what, Johnny? Come here. He started hitting him. He says, you thought you beat me? Well, let me tell you something. Many of you, the devil said, you know what? You're done. You're not going to go anywhere, but you have the staff. You said, you know what, devil? I have something. Tengo algo. Tengo la vara. Bueno, hazme lo que quieras, pero algo voy a hacer. Te voy a tomar mi familia. Voy a tomar mi hogar. I'm going to take it back I'm gonna take it back and there's somebody could take it back habrá alguien que lo puede tomar de nuevo tómalo yo quisiera decirle a alguien esta no tarde you better tell the devil you know what devil you better step off brother but it's the devil pero es el diablo. My God. The devil told me one time, you know, like I killed your grandparents, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill your son, and I'm going to kill your wife. And I, tell the, I told the devil, you know what, devil? You could try it. You could go at it. You could go against me. But I'm going to tell you something. There is something that I have. That you know, it doesn't matter what. Hay algo que tengo. Tengo el poder del Espíritu Santo. Me va, quítame esto. Pero vendré. Con, ah, voy a hacer algo. Ah, come on, can somebody take it back? Can somebody take it back? Come on, somebody take it back right now. Tómalo, tómalo, tómalo. I want you to, for two minutes right now, somebody let go. I want for two minutes, come on, let go. Take it back, take it back. Take it back, take it back. Take it back. Tómalo, 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 tómalo. You 
want to say, Pastor, we only have five young kids. Well, there's so many more. Come on. There's so many more in the world. Go get them. Vamos a traerlo. Come on, come on, come on. Take it back. Tómalo de nuevo. Él nos dio el poder. Él nos dio la autoridad. Hallelujah. Take it back. Go ahead, praise team. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Tómalo. God bless you. I want to invite you to this altar. If you're going to know what's in your hand, this altar.